Ukraine seized more than 730 units of Russian equipment. Such data were published by the Oryx researchers. They analyze open sources and collect data on the Russian invasion in Ukraine. These investigators take into account only those facts that are documented in photos or videos. They analyzed, for example, how many tanks each of the sides lost. According to the researchers, the Ukrainians already destroyed about 135 <coughs> tanks. Another trophy were 133 heavy armored vehicles. At the same time, the Ukrainian army lost 79 tanks. If you take the 133 vehicles seized by Ukraine and subtract the 79 ones they lost, it turns out that the Ukrainian army was replenished with 54 tanks. Among them, for example, both the old Soviet T-64 tanks and the latest Russian T-90s. In this video you can see a combat vehicle T-80. It was captured by the Ukrainian military, received new insignia and already participates in the fights against the invaders. The video was posted on social media on March 11th. In the recording, the Ukrainian military says that it was not the only equipment they captured during the day. On that field, there were two tanks, three self-propelled howitzers, a heavy flamethrower system, two multi-purpose armored towing vehicles, two fuel trucks. Among the equipment seized by the Ukrainians are many pieces from the Soviet times. The same is true for the Ukrainian army. This gives an advantage. The equipment is clear in usage and can be repaired and used against the invaders. Among these, for example, are tanks T-64 and T-72, self-propelled artillery installations Hvozdika, Akatsya, MSTA, BTR-80 armored personnel carriers and BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles, BM-21 Grad and BM-27 Hurricane multiple rocket launchers. But there are also purely Russian weapons and equipment, perhaps the most valuable anti-aircraft missile system sponsor C-1. One costs about 40 million dollars. Same money would buy you five Russian T-90 tanks. Ukrainians are even encouraged to destroy and seize enemy equipment. For example, in early March, the mayor of Chernihiv, the city which was surrounded by Russians and shelled by heavy artillery and aircraft, personally promised a bounty on the invaders. Vladislav Atroshenko stated that he would pay $5,000 in hryvnia equivalent for each destroyed Russian armored personnel carrier, more than $6,500 for an infantry fighting vehicle, and more than than $8,000 for a tank. The Ukuroboron Prom concern went even further. Its representative said that they would give $1 million to a Russian pilot who decides to surrender the plane to Ukraine. The Russians have not yet surrendered the planes, but there have been cases when they voluntarily donated the equipment. Advisor to the Minister of Internal Affairs of Ukraine, Viktor Andrusiv, told one such story. He wrote, Russian tankman Mikhail decided to surrender and also give away the tank he was driving. He was detained by Ukrainian special services. Now the Russian soldier will be paid $10,000 after the war and given the opportunity to apply for Ukrainian citizenship. In total, according to the Oryx researchers, Russia already lost about 2,000 units of equipment in Ukraine. It is destroyed, abandoned and captured by Ukrainians. And this is only what was discovered in the photos and videos. At the same time, according to the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Kremlin troops lost about 4,000 units of equipment in just one month of hostilities. Ребята, спасибо вам большое.